in what was a harmonious relationship the neighboring towns of Malam Fatori in Nigeria and Boso in Niger are now witnessing escalating tension and hostility leading to a denial of access of Nigerian soldiers to Bosu. The once friendly daily interaction between Nigerian and Nigerian soldiers has been shattered and both nations find themselves grappling with the implications of the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS sanctions and looming threats of military action. As diplomatic relationship, relations between Nigeria and Niger hang in the balance, the denier of access to Boso has dealt a significant blow to the moral and well-being of Nigerian soldiers stationed in the region. Previously, the soldiers from both sides enjoyed a camaraderie that extended beyond borders with Boso, serving as a crucial source of daily essentials for the Nigerian troops. The situation took a downtown, a downtown following the imposition of ECOWAS, ECOWAS sanctions, which sought to address critical regions issues. As a consequence, both nations have been on edge, and the atmosphere along the border has become froth with unease and suspicion. With the threat of potential military action looming, each side appears to be taking precautionary measures. Further, as a Baiting the fragile state of affairs. The denial of access to Boso for Nigerian soldiers underscores the severity of the situation as it, it is not only impacts the military operations but also affects the personal lives, personal lives of those stationed at the border. Basic provisions that were once easily accessible have now become scarce, leaving the Nigerian troops to grapple with the challenges of sustenance and everyday life in the statement by the source zagazola state tension escalates niger army denies nigerian soldiers access to busu the neighboring towns of malam fatori in nigeria and boss boso in niger which were once connected by a friendly daily interaction between nigerian army soldiers and niger republic soldiers in Bosu, are now experiencing heightened tension and hostility due to recent events. In the aftermath of ECOWAS sanctions and the declaration of potential military action, Nigeria and Niger find themselves in a delicate situation. As a result, Nigerian soldiers are facing an unfortunate setback as they have been denied access to Bosu Town to source items for their daily lives and basic provisions. Okay. <laughs> it will be small something. I think it's you know, is not making a reverse. It's to tell you that it's you know, does not have a, the intellectual capacity to rule Nigeria. We see what is happening. We've been saying it over and over again. He doesn't have the intellectual capacity. And unfortunately, even if he has a good people around him to advise him, he won't take it. With that singular act, removing subsidy, why he was telling us that uh, even his own team, they were taken by surprise because Holy Spirit, I'm only saying Holy Spirit, he said, spirit came upon him and that was how that was why he said oh subsidy is gone but we can see the result or the effect of that a uh, subsidy is gone that uh, he made mention of now we see that so it's just uh, so unfortunate the same thing now he has sent a uh, northern elders i call them northern elders abdul salami and a uh, baba gena Abi baba gena or whatever they call him now it's not working that dialogue is not working and nigerians and majority of nigerians are saying don't even dare it the problems that you have even created the problems you met on ground in the country than the and the one that you you created since you came you have not been able to solve them you are just making promises i will do this i will do that instead of you to face that that you are making man you are going to crush you are going to do this and for me family was aiding you up we are going to do this. i said should this man get sense to <laughs> no no he has made a u-turn but that youth son is like he's coming late because he's not even going to work. And that is exactly what is happening. So these soldiers are going to suffer suffer it. The relationship they have, you know, in moving to other neighboring countries to get some stuff is not is no longer there. Well, now he good for now. Caused by your arrogant president, Tinubu, country that depends on others for their daily survival. 
Nigeria be informed be forming boss when they see as developed countries that are independent form bosses. There definitely was a country. There definitely was a country. When you have a clueless president, that is what you get. Clueless and arrogance is what is killing Sinumbu. Mm. What is going to work against him? <laughs> they will be pushing him now. Of course, they don't say, you know, Kukuman, yeah, no rich grand. So now people won't see now. They're there around that. They will be urging him and they will be stealing for themselves. They will not give him good advice because. You see all the people who have been governors. Is it a Matawale? You see the way a man at which he ran a Zamfara. Is it a Ganduji? <laughs> the dollar man. Now he's not their president. He's not their chairman. Is it who? Devu Mai. Yeah. Really? All the people that they have been tested and Nigerians cannot trust them. They are the ones he's bringing back. Somebody was telling us that, hey, you know what? Oh, uh, it's trying to send message to opposition that is going to is ready for a rerun so those ones are the ones that will help him to rig elections if there's going to be a rerun it's just unfortunate when you have somebody just i just want to be president you will say i want to be president for that uh, i you know the feed they put some president i want a president i'm not your president i'm not your president so guys let's say your opinion and have your second on this thank you